What's up guys? Today I'm reviewing the 3 MiFi. It's the Huawei E586 model. I'm not sure if I've got the pronounce of the name correctly. And I've been using this device for around 3 weeks. And I've got to say I'm really impressed with it. Um, I'll just show you around the dongle quickly. This is your where the mini USB goes. So you can charge, plug it into your computer or you, you receive also a dock to charge it. Here we have power button and here is to find out your um, your password. This just enables you to open the back and here is a micro SD card and on the back you've just got the model number and name. I believe this is the latest model out. If we just look at the sort of dashboard, we've got three. It shows, it states how much you've used, how many hours you've used, and battery life in the top right, and then signal, and how many devices are connected to the MiFi. I've I've been I've been really impressed with it. I uh, I got it because we were out of we moved house and we didn't have internet for two weeks, so this was the best solution. And the speeds have been really good. Performance wise, I can't really fault it at all. So now we'll take a look at some speed tests and show you how well this performs. I'll be testing the speed uh, just now. I'll just quickly show you the, that I'm connected to the 3 mobile Wi-Fi. I'll just zoom in here. There, you should be able to see it. Yeah, so that's all connected to the device. And now let's check out the speed. So I'm getting around, it's going up. I've been really impressed with the speed, considering it is a pay-as-you-go device. So we're getting around 1.95, between around 2 meg download speed, and the upload speed is around a 1.45 mark, 1.59. So I, th I think these are really impressive results, considering that it's like a pay-as-you-go device. Um, I'm in the London area, so coverage hasn't been a problem, but I'm pretty sure it will work in most cities. I definitely recommend this device. The only downside to it is that the battery is quite short so you need to either have it plugged into your laptop computer or have it plugged into the dock and the cost of the pro the cost of the device is around I think 65 pounds and then you have to purchase um, a top-up card three gig either three gigabytes of data one gigabyte or I think 12 and I got the three gig gigabytes for twenty pounds, so it is really good, and it lasts you for you have a month to use it until it expires. So there's plenty of time, and I would definitely recommend this to anyone who's traveling long distances on the coach or in trains where they where you don't have access to Wi-Fi. This is a perfect solution to that, to it. So I think that wraps it up, Paul. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's been helpful to you. Thanks for watching.